16 Materials Every Architect and Architecture Student Needs to Know Concrete Concrete is the most widely used building material in the world, making it a good starting material to get to know. However it also has significant environmental impacts, including a carbon footprint of up to 5% of worldwide emissions. Wood One of the oldest, most traditional building materials around the world is of course timber. The material is beginning to take on new forms thanks to engineered wood products, and with high-rise buildings and even translucent properties, this diverse material is being taken to new heights. Steel The city skylines as we know them exploded out of our discovery of steel, commonly used for reinforcement, but serving as a beautiful skin in several examples. Plastic Although this may seem like a cheap, unsustainable material to some, one should not be so quick to judge the possibilities that plastic holds. We produce so much of it, why not recycle it in the form of architecture or bioplastics? What about the whole new world that comes with 3D printing? The American Chemistry Council has a great overview of plastics as a material, as well as a rundown of their major uses in architecture, with links to further resources for each. Stone Another material used over generations in certain geographical locations around the world, stone has a wide diversity of textures, colors, and strengths. Despite its heavy, solid materiality, one can still work with it to achieve diverse forms. The Building Stone Institute has a variety of resources including fact sheets and specification sheets for many of the most common types of stone used in construction. Textiles Textiles have been explored most commonly using tensile structures, however there's a whole range of opportunities using this material, load-bearing chairs, inflatable spaces, fabric casting and wooden fabrics amongst others. Fabric Architecture Magazine has a collection of technical articles for architects, while their resource guide provides a comprehensive overview of the products on the market in this category. Glass Our most used material to achieve transparency and light is without a doubt glass, one of the most commonly used facade elements in contemporary architecture. Some are taking it a step further attempting to extend its properties to create intelligent, responsive glass. The PPG Glass Education Center is a great place to learn more. Brick Despite its rigid, rectangular shape made to fit in your hand, brick architecture has been shown to create beautiful structures with the right craftsmanship. Innovative thinkers are also finding new ways to incorporate active sustainability into the small building elements. The Brick Development Association has a collection of resources for learning more about brick. Kevlar A material stronger than metal body armor, with awesome tensile strength, Kevlar is certainly an asset when building large structures. With a less rigid composition than steel, however, it could reform the way we think of large load-bearing structures. As a still relatively new material, there are few comprehensive information sources on Kevlar's architectural applications, but this article and this snippet of the book Material Architecture by John Fernandez are good places to start. Bamboo Bamboo usage is generally dictated by the geographical location of the architectural project. In locations where bamboo makes sense, it is an incredibly flexible, strong, sustainable material that can be useful in many ways. Carbon fiber. Reflecting everything about our new material endeavors is carbon fiber, five times stronger than steel, twice as stiff, weighing significantly less. The composition of carbon fiber makes it flexible to work with, allowing it to take shapes from surfaces to rods, depending on your requirements. Photovoltaic cells. With all the high rises soaring high above the earth, it's a wonder photovoltaic facades haven't become a norm. Due to the evolution of photovoltaic technology, cells may no longer have to be locked in place on the roof. The International Energy Agency's Design Handbook for Photovoltaics in Buildings is available for free online. Earth Earth is among the oldest building materials we can think of due to its almost universal accessibility and relative ease of use at small scales. 
It's capable of being compressed into modules, as well as creating free-form surfaces, all of which can eventually return to the Earth with ease. Waste We produce a huge amount of waste covering a huge range of materials, but getting to know your waste is an excellent idea for future architects. Whether it's converting cigarette butts into building material or plastic bottles to earthquake-resistant walls, recycling is something to be admired. Straw Creating a passive thermal environment, shielding from rain and blending into similar natural surroundings are just a few things that straw is good at. It's no wonder thatched roofs were so popular in the past. Organic Materials with the massive loss of habitats happening around the world, getting to know organic structures created by animals is something that's best to do sooner rather than later. Not only can we learn from their use of materials, it also opens up opportunities for us to coexist through incorporating their organic materials into our architecture. Materials costs vary by location. You may choose to make the most out of your money if you purchase materials locally. In terms of accessibility, there are many different options available, including online resources. However, having access to these resources does require additional time and effort. Thank you dear viewers. Hope you all enjoyed the information. Please do like, subscribe, share and enjoy watching my videos. Let's spread knowledge and wisdom. The reference website links and Amazon links for the books have been given under in the description.